Hi everyone, it's Patricia here. So today I wanted to make this video about my watermelon inspired makeup look. I went to Walgreens one night with my boyfriend after we'd finished working out to go buy some water and some snacks and as I was passing through the makeup section, I noticed that NYX had these vivid liquid eyeliners and so I thought to myself, well, I'll try something new because I'm so used to using like, black or brown eyeliner, so I wanted to try something new, so I bought the two colors that I never thought I would use, which I bought green and yellow. And so whenever I got home, I sat there for a little bit thinking about if I had made a mistake, because I was like, what do I wear with green that would look okay? After thinking about it for a little bit, I realized that most of my eyeshadow palettes were pink and so I decided to just do my normal routine and just use the green eyeliner instead. And so I did, and as I was experimenting, I noticed, I was like, you know, I kind of really like this look. It kind of reminds me of a strawberry, but then as I wore it throughout the day, I thought about it more and more, I was like, well, it's not quite a strawberry, it's more like watermelon. And so I was really excited and I wanted to share with you guys my watermelon inspired look. It's pretty simple and yeah, I mean, it's it was really fun creating this look and if you're looking for something that's a little different but still not too like out there, I would suggest mixing up different things and yeah. Alright, well, let's get started! To prime my face, I'll be using the primer by Fenty Beauty. I like how it makes my skin look smooth whenever I apply it, so there are times when I'll just wear the primer by itself without any foundation. For foundation, I'm using Dior Backstage in 1CR. I would say this foundation is a medium to light coverage and I really like how it has a nice matte finish. It's very lightweight and a lot of times I forget I'm even wearing foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and apply small dots all over my face and blend it out with a beauty blender. Also, depending on how my skin looks that day, I'll either apply more or less foundation, but on this day I felt like my skin looked okay, so I try not to apply too much. You'll see my mouth moving at random parts throughout the video because I didn't decide to do a voiceover until later. For concealer, I'll be using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 1. I'm just gonna apply a little bit underneath my eyes and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. set my concealer in, I'll be using the 3CE Blur Filter Powder, and I'm only going to apply this on the places that I put concealer. For brows, I'll be using the 3CE Sharpen Edge Brow Pencil in Gray Brow. I'm going to start with the outer corner of my eyebrow and do long, heavy outward strokes to make it darker. And for my inner brow, I'm going to do light upward strokes to create a gradient effect so my eyebrows don't look too blocky. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing with the other side after I'm done. Once I'm done filling in my brows, I'm gonna use the spoolie end and blend out any harsh lines. I'll blend out the outer edges first and then use any excess on the spoolie on the inner part. I used to use three different products to fill in my brows, but over the time I got lazy and started to only use this one product and I'll go back and fill any gaps I see. I'm gonna set my eyebrows in with the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia. To prime my eyes, I'm gonna be using the 3C Eye Primer. I used to never use eye primer because I never wore eyeshadow, but as I started to get more into makeup, I started using more eyeshadow, and I've learned it makes a huge difference using primer and not using primer. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. The first color I'm going to be using is called Limit. 
I'm gonna apply this all over my eyes as a base. The reason I leave my setting powder on is to let it settle. Also, I learned this tip that if you have any eyeshadow fallout, that if you leave your setting powder on after you're done, you can just sweep it all away. Next, I'll be using Buzz. It's a light shimmery color, and I'm gonna apply this all over my eyelids as well. Whenever I'm feeling lazy, I'll actually just mix Limit and Buzz together into one step. Then I'm gonna use Nooner on the corner of my eyes to give it more depth. For underneath the eyes, I'm going to take Burnout and start at the outer corner of my eyes and blend it inwards. Last, I'll be using Dust and I'm only going to apply this to the center of my eyelid. It's a really glittery color, but I wanted to add it to give my eyes more of a pop. To line my eyes, I'll be using M Cosmetics Felt Tip Eyeliner. I'm only going to apply this to my upper waterline for now. I do this step because I feel like if you just apply the green eyeliner by itself, your eye doesn't really have much of a shape. And so by applying the black eyeliner underneath, you can really start to see the shape of your eye and it makes it more defined. For the green eyeliner, I'll be using NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Envy. I'll be doing a winged eyeliner look. It took me a long time to figure out how to do a good winged eyeliner look, but the thing that worked for me was to relax my eye and look for naturally without straining my eyes and build the wing from there. Back then, whenever I tried to do a wing eyeliner look, I would have a habit of squinting my eyes so my eyelid would be flat, but whenever I was done, the wing would be distorted. So I found out the trick was to relax my eye and not strain so the wing would come out a lot more natural and more like a wing. And then I'm gonna do the other side. For some reason, I always have an easier time doing one side than the other, but the hardest part is getting both sides to look even. I'm gonna go back with the black eyeliner and just fill in any gaps that I might have between the green and the black eyeliner. So it's mostly going to be gaps within my eyelashes. Now that I'm done with eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and use my beauty blender to sweep away the setting powder and any excess eyeshadow. I'll be using the NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil in Moss. I'm just going to use this and line underneath my eye to give my eyes more of a green pop. This color is more of a dark emerald green and I feel like it adds a nice contrast from the bright green eyeliner on top. The liquid eyeliner got all over my eyelashes. My eyelashes were actually green. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then apply mascara. And the mascara I'll be using is the 3CE I'm Good Mascara. I like using this mascara because the wand itself is really small and I don't really have that much eyelashes so having a smaller wand makes it a lot easier to get my lashes underneath. I thought about applying false lashes to make this look more dramatic but I got lazy. 
but you know, I think it looks alright without the falsies. For contour, I'll be using Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Mocha. I don't really contour that often, and I don't feel like I'm particularly good at it, but the simple outline I'm doing right now is something I learned for most generic faces, and I'm just gonna blend it all out with a beauty blender. A tip I learned about contouring is to blend the contour on the edges of your face outward so it looks more natural. You'll see I have to blend especially hard because the color is a lot darker than I expected when I bought it. So if I don't blend it out correctly, you're just gonna see a weird color line. So I have to do a good job. For my lips, I'll be using the Dear Darling Tint by Etude House in color OR203. It's a darker red and I really like it because it lasts a really long time. For blush, I'll be using the 3CE Multi Pot in Diotima. It's an orangey color blush, but I like using orange because I feel like it gives my face more color <laughs> since I'm really pale. I don't really like using pink color blush since I feel like I look sick or I have wind rash whenever I use it. So I use orange because it looks a lot more natural to me. A highlight I'll be using the Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca in the color Moonstone. To set everything in, I'll be using this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Do three sprays. And that's it. Well, I guess that's not it because my hair is not done, so I need to fix my hair. Alright, so after fixing my bad head for the most part, this is the finished look. This is my watermelon inspired everyday makeup look. My next video will be me unboxing my new Ipsy Plus box. I've had Ipsy for a really long time. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically a monthly makeup bag and I get a lot of my makeup brushes from there. In fact, I've only ever bought one makeup brush. All my other brushes came from my bags. And so I subscribed on the very, I think Michelle Pham was still the creator on it. I don't think she's part of it anymore, but I recently upgraded my subscription to the bigger box where they give you full size products instead of the sample products. So I wanted to do unboxing and show you all the products I got and maybe create a look with it. I don't know, we'll see. I'm still trying to experiment with all these different makeup looks, but if you guys didn't know, I made a vlog video. It was pretty fun. It was my first time editing a vlog. I'm very used to editing or I guess making highlights and clips from my Twitch, but it was my first time actually like sitting down and editing something that wasn't just me, it was all around and I feel like I learned a lot of good stuff and I'm hoping over time I can improve, but I guess only time will tell. I think my next vlog will be something with glamping, so it's essentially glam with camping and then you add it together, so it's glam camping. I know it might sound really lame for those who are really into the like whole actual camping, but my sister got offered uh, a free stay if she promoted it and so we're gonna go and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I wanna record and make my next vlog about it and so look forward to that but until then I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye!